Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, this video is going to be mainly regarding a YouTube HDR. A lot of people been having a trouble getting 4K, not so much the 4K resolution, but the HDR content. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to explain to you what is the only way you can get HDR on your 4K HDR televisions. Okay, first and foremost, you're going to need a computer. You're going to need a computer that can handle it. Uh, you can go with the uh, NVIDIA or AMD RX 570 or 580 AMD Radeon RX 580, doesn't matter, 570, or uh, GTX uh, 1070, uh, even 1060 should be able to do it. 1060, 1070, and of course 1080 from NVIDIA. But you're going to have to connect your computer to a television, your 4K HDR television. Currently, I'm using my uh, Samsung Q8FN 55-inch television, and this is how you're going to know that you're running in HDR. Forget about what it says uh, on the, uh, the title. Here's how you're going to have to do it. First of all, you're going to need a keyboard. I'm just kidding. You're going to need, of course, mouse and a keyboard. Uh, there it is right here. You have to do it from a browser. You got to go to the Google Chrome. Okay. You got to go to the browser. Here I am on the browser right now. I got my mouse and everything. So you're going to have to go and go to the browser. Click on the Google Chrome, which is right over here. I have a Google Chrome. Uh, what I'm using currently, it's my AMD Dell uh, desktop. I guess I have to show it because if I don't show my AMD Dell desktop, people are going to say that I'm lying. I have no credibility when, in fact, I have nothing but credibility. So I, let me, I have to show you my computer because if I don't, all these salty crocodiles are going to start spitting and what whatnot, you know. So I got to show it to you. So there it is. That's my uh, Dell desktop that I'm using, my AMD Ryzen 5, very powerful Ryzen 5 uh, CPU and uh, RX 570 AMD graphics card that I'm using. So there you have it. I'm just doing this for a credibility reasons in case uh, salty crocodiles start saying something otherwise. And for those of you who are confused and don't know what I mean by salty crocodiles, salty crocodiles, it means haters. People who are jealous of me, they hate the fact that I'm successful, that I got nearly 27,000 subscribers. I'm going to hit 27,000 uh, by the Thanksgiving. So I'm just climbing up and rising up in, in subscribers Okay, they're just jealous that I'm successful and I have all these things and they have nothing. Uh, that's what they are. Salty, salty haters, salty pathetic losers, salty crocodiles. Okay, that's what that is. Now, let me talk to you about how to get a 4K HDR. Okay, first thing first, you're going to need a computer that can handle it. I just showed you my computer. You're going to have to connect your computer to your television, your 4K HDR television, and you're going to have to use a Google Chrome, okay? You're going to have to uh, use the Google Chrome, and from the browser, you're going to type into YouTube. So remember, you cannot use the app from your television to watch 4K HDR. The only way the 4K HDR is going to work if you use a browser connect your computer and then click on the browser click on the google chrome and then go to your 4k hdr uh videos you search for them you just type in 4k hdr they're going to show up there's also another trick there's another trick you have to do on the windows which i need to show you before uh you do anything else so here go to the settings Go to the uh, display sound notification. Make sure that the HDR and VCG is turned on. Okay, if your HDR and VCG is not turned on, then you're not going to have the HDR uh, capabilities. 
If you, this is actually the first thing you should do, as a matter of fact. You should turn on your HDR WCG. Turn on your HDR WCG. Make sure it's turned on. Once it's turned on, then you can enjoy your HDR on Google Chrome browser on the YouTube. Okay? And you can also enjoy your uh, 4K HDR gaming on your games as well. But you got to make sure that this is turned on. If this is not turned on, it's not going to work. So make sure you turn it on. And then here, how can you tell that this is a 4K HDR? Well, you click here where it says settings. And you see what it says here, 1440p HDR. Can you guys see it? You can choose 1440p or 2160p HDR. You can choose many different types. Okay, so you have that ability. There it is. There's 4K HDR. And you click on there, you can see it says HDR 4K. That's how you know. Okay, so I brought my camera a little bit closer so you guys can see it. You see what I'm saying right here? This is how you know that you're running in HDR. You click the quality and it's going to say HDR 4K. If it doesn't say HDR and it just says 2160p 4K, then you know you're not getting an HDR. But as soon as you see this, as soon as you see this uh, logo that says 2160p HDR 4K, you know you're running it in 4K. And now you can enjoy this 4K HDR video. Okay, so let's bring it to a full screen. And uh, there you go. This is your HDR. Let's, let's click play. There it is. It's playing right now. There you go. Now, it depends on your PC and your internet connection. also depends, you know, how powerful your PC is. You know what I mean? If you truly want to appreciate this... Uh, you're going to have to have a very powerful PC. Remember, now you're streaming from YouTube, 4K, and HDR. Now, if I connected my NVIDIA 1080, 32 gigs of uh, memory RAM, my beast of a Alienware Aurora PC, then yes, I would get a much better 4K HDR here. But let's switch to a uh, 1440p because I don't think my computer can handle more than uh, 1440p HDR. So we'll keep it here. All right. Which this is QHD upscale to 4K. And you see, I'm still getting uh, HDR, but it's a QHD HDR. And it looks nice. It looks really nice. This is HDR. This is the true HDR you're getting right now, okay? This is the true HDR. Just look how beautiful this looks on this television. Look at these colors. Just look how beautiful this is, you know? And uh, that's how you get 4K HDR on your uh, YouTube. This is, by the way, the only way that you're going to be able to get that HDR through a YouTube. You cannot use it through your uh, app. It's not going to work through the app. Look how beautiful this. Look how beautiful this TV is. Look how beautifully this TV represents the colors. This is why you bought this TV. Let's switch to a 4K just so I can use it as a still so I can show you. Look how beautiful this looks now in 4K and HDR. This is why you got this TV. Look how bright that is. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay? There you can see clearly 4K HDR right here. And look how beautiful that looks. That looks stunning, man. Now you truly appreciate why you got this TV. Oh, you look at that. It's beautiful. Look at this. This right here. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at the colors and how it's being represented. This looks marvelous. Okay, let's switch to uh, uh, 1440p HDR. Here, well, let's switch to there. Leave it here. Let's click play. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks, man. It just looks fantastic. 
Look at that HDR here, man. Wow. I mean, what you guys are seeing right now uh, through this uh, camera, it's nothing compared to what I'm seeing. And it just looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks, man. It just looks stunning. Simply stunning. I think the word I can use is just simply stunning, man. Now you know why you why you want to buy this TV. When you when you get to appreciate all of these HDR colors, uh, billions of colors from Quantum Dot and that uh, you know peak brightness of nits. Just look at this. This looks stunning, dude. I mean beyond. This is like beyond stunning, dude. Like the word I would use would be like beyond stunning. Just look at this picture quality, man. It's just amazing, dude. It's just simply amazing. You know simply amazing now look at it wow if you feed this TV a really good quality you will appreciate just how beautiful this TV is not to mention not to mention a super awesome game mode with 120 Hertz free sync using your PC with 120 Hertz and the free sync Low latency. I mean, come on. I mean, what more do you want from a TV? It's funny. We're advertising Panasonic, but uh, it's uh, <laughs> Samsung. Okay, let's exit this and let's try a different video. This guy has a lot of videos, so I'm going to go to his channel, AGR channel. Uh, let's try something else that he's got here. Uh, let's see. A real 4K HDR on the Luzian Flamenco in HDR. Let's try that. Let's look at that. Let's see how that is. Um, see, it tells you that's an HDR right here, so you can see it. Maybe I shouldn't be playing too much of this. Uh, you know, uh, copyright. That's somebody else out there, some other people. This is in Seattle. Let's check this out. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's an HDR. You can see it right there. It's running in HDR. It looks fantastic, man. It looks beautiful. Look how beautiful this looks, man. This looks amazing. I love it. So remember, this is the only way you can get a HDR on YouTube and 4K. You have to use a computer. You got to use a browser, Google Chrome. And then you have to go to YouTube page. And from there, you select 4K HDR. But remember, you also have to go to your Windows display settings. And you have to select uh, HDR VCG on. You have to turn that on. If you don't turn that on, then it's not going to work. So you have to turn that on. That's like the only way you can uh, utilize the HDR for the YouTube and also utilize the HDR for your video games. You're going to be playing on a PC. Okay, like that's like the only way you can do that. So, um, I don't know. Is there anything else I can say here that I haven't already said? I think I explained everything to you guys in detail on how to use it. So there you go. Yet another informative video. Uh, all of my videos are informative. But salty crocodiles, uh, they think otherwise, you know. Well, because they're salty crocodiles, of course they're going to say that. But there you go. I'm helping you guys out. I'm giving you some information here, some informative information. As you all know, I don't talk out of my ass. Uh, I just bring you credibility. I do my research, man. Okay, I don't talk out of my ass. I show it to you front and center. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good one.